We are here today at our Aspen Germany Philosophy and Practice Leadership Seminar in this beautiful premise um, of Kloster Mühle. Um, and one of our participants um, is with me today. Um, Jörg, thank you so much for joining us. Um, one and a half days of intensive discussions lie behind you. Um, you have looked at a lot of philosoph philosophical texts. Um, you have discussed with your um, classmates, so to say. <laughs> And what strikes you particularly of what you have done so far in the seminar? I think for me it's a, a wonderful experience so far. Um, I think um, the big variety of different classmates, as you call it, is um, very challenging on the one hand side, but it's inspiring on the other hand side. And uh, the, the discussions we had on especially the topic of equality really um, yeah, um, was, was uh, my, my biggest um, inspiration, so to speak. We were talking texts from um, Hayek to De Soto and other uh, philosophical, uh, philosophical, uh, philosophical classics And, and that was really my highlight so far. Um, and uh, in these challenging times, um, leaders have to meet a lot of new demands. And these are often not so easy, right? Um, and you have to make decisions in very uncertain times. And, and you also have to make decisions. Um, so what helps you to be a good leader? Huh. <laughs> um, actually, it's a, it's a big variety. Um, maybe it starts with a... Um, basic um, fundament where you uh, can start with um, that um, um, you have certain values um, that you can rely on and um, on top of that it's um, an exchange different sources of inspiration and maybe uh, one or the other good example um, of other leaders of how they um, um, go along or get, uh, get um, a lot of things done in the challenging environment yeah that would be And one of the challenges is also being resilient, right? Dealing with all those crises. Do you have a tip um, to, for our audiences, our viewers and listeners, how to become more resilient leaders? Um, I think um, you probably should never lose your um, inner optimism and um, the, the way of focusing on a positive vision. Um, and in that way, it um, helps you overcome um, The, the not so easy parts, the, the parts where you need the um, resistance, the resilience, and um, by by um, re uh, reimagination uh, or reimagine this uh, positive vision, I think is one of the the key success for, at least for me. And do you think he will stay in touch after the seminar? <laughs> definitely, definitely. It's um, as I already uh, mentioned. Um, And the group is so um, inspiring and it's, uh, it's, it's a real present for me that um, I get to know all these people and we will definitely stay in touch. Not only with the participants, but also with the Aspen Institute, which I really enjoyed. And I'm really uh, thankful for this opportunity. Well, we are very thankful to you um, that you are one of our participants, that you are here today and that you shared some of your thoughts. And we hope to see you a lot at the Aspen Institute Germany. Thank you so much, Jörg. Thank you. It was my pleasure and uh, I will look for the future meetings. <laughs>